Well, more than 11,000 television writers and film writers have gone on strike now for the first time in 15 years. The Writers Guild of America failed to reach an agreement with Hollywood Studios. And as CBS 2's Dick Brennan reports, it's impacting what you watch. It's the Late Show. The Late Shows won't go on now that 11,000 union writers have walked off the job. These are our writers, and I'll stick myself in there because I'm WGA2, and they're so important to our show. I also think that the writers' demands are not unreasonable. Daytime soaps could be next. Let her die. In addition, actors and directors are facing their own uncertain labor future. Both of those gills are about to negotiate. We could have an entire town uh, out on the picket line at some point. The major issue is money. The union says writers are making less in the age of streaming, while companies like Amazon, Disney, Netflix, and our parent company, Paramount, are booming. We're sort of at an existential crisis where we're creating all of this creative product that these companies are making billions of dollars off of, yet we're not getting paid a very, very small percentage of that. Writers also worry about artificial intelligence. AI is potentially terrifying, and they should have some sort of regulations to prevent uh, chat from replacing us. The studios say it offer included generous increases in compensation for writers as well as improvements in streaming residuals and said it is prepared to improve that offer but was unwilling to do so because of the magnitude of other proposals still on the table that the Guild continues to insist upon. The last writer strike in 2007 lasted 100 days and cost Hollywood $2 billion and that led to the rise of reality television. In the newsroom, Dick Brennan, CBS2 News.